McPhail School of Energy.
School of Construction. of Health and Public Safety. School of Hospitality and Tourism.
School of Information and Communications Technologies. Manufacturing and Automation. Transportation.
You have just completed something special, but please remember learning never stops. It's always okay to ask for help and to keep growing your skills. Have fun and enjoy this wonderful time. Congratulations on your accomplishments. Always show up as your best self. Believe in yourselves and be fearless. Celebrate your accomplishments. You are so powerful. Know your worth and that you can achieve anything. Use your weaknesses as your strengths and carve your path in life. You're a true original. Let your colors shine brightly for the world. As a graduate, you've already understood the value and power of education. Now more than ever, this is the chance to create your own story. Trust your instincts, be courageous and kind, generous and fearless. Congratulations. This is a time like no other for which you will be pioneers. Wear that badge proudly and pave the way for future graduates. Times may be tough, but you will persevere. Your time as a student at SAIT has prepared you to be strong and adaptable. Cherish your happiest and hardest moments and carry them forward to face everything head on. Best wishes and congratulations. Graduating from SAIT with the technical skills you learned has prepared you for your career path. However, the work ethic and friendships you've gained through the journey will prove to be as important as those technical skills. SAID has done an amazing job preparing you for the world and to step out on your own. Never forget the memories you had during your journey at SAID. Welcome to the family. Today's ceremony is unlike anything we've ever experienced before, but it's no less momentous. We're proud you're celebrating with us. This is a significant occasion when we get to see the power of hard work and resolution. Today is full of opportunity. It's both the end of a journey and the beginning of a new one. It's a time to look back on your experiences at SAIT and know you've accomplished something truly incredible. Graduands, you set out to earn a world-class education and you did it. You are here. Welcome to SAIT's 2021 Fall Convocation Ceremony. The ceremony begins with the singing of the National Anthem. Oh, Canada, our home and native land, true patriot love, in all of us command. Cat ombra set por te le pea, y se por te la croix. 
on his wild return ever bear God keep our land glorious and free oh, we stand on guard for thee. O oh, Canada, we stand on guard for thee. Master of Ceremonies, Heather Magatou, Vice President, External Relations. Good afternoon, everyone. What a powerful way to start this life-changing day. As introduced, I'm Heather Magatou, Vice President, External Relations at SAIT, and I'm honored to be the MC for today's ceremony. President Ross, Mr. Thon, board members, distinguished guests, graduands, faculty and staff, friends and family, welcome to SAIT's 2021 Fall Convocation Ceremony. Oki, Abawatik, Dadanastada, Tansi, Hello. We would like to acknowledge that SAID is situated on the tra traditional territories of the Blackfoot Confederacy. The city of Calgary encompasses a region that the Blackfoot tribes of Southern Alberta described as Mokinstis, meaning elbow, in reference to its location at the confluence of the Bow and Elbow Rivers. Since time immemorial, this region was a traditional gathering place for the tribes of the Blackfoot Confederacy. Today, the area encompasses the indigenous people of the Treaty 7 region in Southern Alberta the Siksika, the Pekani, the Kainai, the Sutina, the Stony Nakoda First Nations, and the Northwest Métis Homeland Region 3. Graduands, you've worked hard to get here, and you persevered through incredible circumstances. And although we aren't physically together, that in no way diminishes your accomplishments or the significance of this ceremony. So wherever you are watching from, hold your head up high, celebrate, and be proud. I'd like to thank Jara Alave and Chase Walker for doing such a wonderful job singing O Canada. I would also like to acknowledge our pipers, Bill and Jeannie Hawes, and drummer Duncan Picard. These powerful performances remind us how experiences can transcend time and space and create such a sense of value and importance. Now typically at this point in the program, we'd have a little fun and ask the graduates to show us which of our schools can make the most noise. Well, graduates, we do want to hear from you on social media. So please connect with us at, at SAID alumni and share your photos and videos using the hashtag SAID2021. I think it's important to take a few minutes to name each of our schools and allow all of you, whether it's a celebration at home or a thumbs up in the chat, a chance to cheer. I know for a fact, no other school has the Calgary Flames announcer as an instructor. So today, in true Calgary fashion, we applaud the accomplishments of graduates from the following SAIT schools. McPhail School of Energy. School of Business. School of Construction. School of Health and Public Safety. School of Hospitality and Tourism. School of Information and Communications Technologies. School of Manufacturing and Automation. School of Transportation. That was fun. Thank you, Mr. Beasley. A full list of graduates by school can be found online 
at state.ca slash convocation. Students receiving a grade point average of 4.0 during their time at SAIT are identified by an asterisk in the program. SAIT is also part of Phi Theta Kappa, North America's largest honor society. SAIT's chapter, Beta Sigma Tau, opened in 2010 and now has more than 3,000 members. Student members achieve a grade point of 3.8 or higher. Congratulations to all of you. I would now like to invite SAIT's president and CEO, Dr. David Ross, to share his address to the graduates. Mr. Chair, fellow board members, honored guests, faculty, staff, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to SAIT's Fall 2021 Convocation Ceremony. Congratulations, graduates. Your time at SAIT has prepared you for an extraordinary future. Now, for many of you, nearly your entire SAIT experience has happened through the pandemic. You may have gone through your programs online or on campus with reduced class sizes, or a mix of both, online and in-person instruction. It's not lost on me how the pandemic has affected us to, to varying degrees. But what you all have in common is you have gained experience during an unprecedented period in world history. You have learned to pivot, adapt, and embrace new ways of thinking, new ways of doing. What most would see as challenges you faced head on. You saw opportunity in the unconventional. Now believe me, this is a skill that will set you apart and has you well positioned for the future. And applied education is about learning in real time to ensure you acquire the skills you need to be immediately successful in your career and in your life. And so, your education went beyond labs and textbooks. Learning to build and maintain relationships when you can't actually be together. Coordinating projects with colleagues in different countries, leveraging technology to communicate, conveying ideas, and solving problems. These traits and the ability to pivot are critical to the current and evolving world of work. Now, some of you may know this, SAIT was established in 1916 to retrain veterans returning from the First World War, to train for jobs that didn't exist before the war, for jobs that required mechanical and technical skills for industries that needed to change with the times. In some ways, this is similar to where we're at today. We are in a very different time than we were nearly two years ago. Every industry, every business has been forced to change. Entire sectors like hospitality and tourism, for example, have made wholesale changes to their business and service models. This is transformative. It might seem ironic given the uncertainty of the pandemic, but you have career choices now not seen in this province in quite some time. You are coming out of your programs to a potentially very healthy job market, and the skills you learned at SAIT are highly sought after. So be confident and embrace those opportunities. Those who see opportunity and change are excelling, ready to take on what's next. Your ability to do that will set you apart. You are ready to make your mark on what the future looks like for our city, our province, and the world. On behalf of your instructors and everyone at SAIT, we're very proud of you. Your resilience, maturity, and adaptability has been outstanding. We can't wait to see what you do next. Congratulations, class of 2021, and all the best. Thank you, Dr. Ross. It's now my pleasure to introduce Mr. Scott Thon, Chair of SAIT's Board of Governors, to say a few words. Mr. Thon has served as Alta Link's President and Chief Executive Officer since 2002 and he's been the president of Berkshire Hathaway Energy Canada since 2014. For more than 30 years, he's held a variety of senior positions in the electricity industry, from operations and engineering, 
to market design and financial management. He has led the investment and construction of significant energy infrastructure developments in Alberta, Canada, and globally. Hello, everyone. I'm pleased to bring greetings on behalf of State's Board of Governors. Well, these are certainly very interesting times, and here we are more than 18 months later. We know very well how the pandemic has forced us to adapt. And many of you have spent the majority of your education at SATE in some kind of an altered learning plan. You are the testament to a strength of being adaptable. Along with the changing of the present, we also know the pandemic has accelerated our future. In fact, some people say that it's brought 2030 into 2021. Organizations, whether you're a for-profit, not-for-profit, a government, we're all learning new ways to work together. And you could say that we're 10 years ahead of schedule on those changes. And so today it's not just a Zoom meeting, it's actually we're using it as a productivity tool in the workplace to get work done more effectively, more quickly, and much more cost effectively. And even in the field, we're seeing that traditional pen and paper of the morning safety tailboard being augmented with a smartphone or a tablet that really helps you set up your daily work in a much more productive way. In our community, in our province, there's radical change happening that's accelerating our economy. It started for us in 2019 when philanthropist David Bissett donated $30 million to open SAIT's School for Advanced Digital Technology. By 2020, the City of Calgary, through their Opportunity Calgary Investment Fund, committed an additional $8 million so that we could create the DX Talent Hub, which is set to build technology talent in our city to attract investment and create jobs. So in 2021, in March of this year, we saw tech giant Infosys announce it's opening its operations in Calgary, creating 500 new technology jobs. So our economy is being rebuilt and reshaped right in front of our eyes. We're seeing new businesses and businesses that have never given Alberta even a second look are now focused on moving their operations into our province. So as you build your career, don't think of it as a pre-written book from the past. It's not. This is a story for you to write. And it's going to require you to be adaptable like you've been and open to these new possibilities. And the great news is you have a state credential. It's a credential that's not only recognized in Alberta and Canada, but even internationally. Did you know that SAIT's School of Hospitality and Tourism is the number one culinary school in Canada and also ranked 19th best and hospitality and hotel management in the world. And for the first time, State School of Business appeared on CEO World's global ranking as the 52nd best business school in the world, but more importantly, only one of three Canadian schools to crack the top 100. So your state credentials will serve you well. And know that here at State, we'll always be with you. You're one of us, you're part of our alumni family. As your career takes shape, SAIT will be your lifelong learning partner. It'll be a network for you and a place to celebrate and amplify your successes. So graduates, be very proud of what you've achieved. Be proud to be a SAIT graduate. It's a great accomplishment. Congratulations, graduates. This year's guest speaker is a SAIT graduate from the professional cooking class of 1988. He is an accomplished chef and passionate member of his industry. Chef Robert Sulatiki is the force behind the Michelin-starred Madeira restaurant in the Rosewood Sandhill Hotel in Silicon Valley. He has led the kitchens of Four Seasons Hotels in Toronto and Chicago. He's developed restaurant and dining concepts and led teams at the Beverly Hills Hotel and Hotel Bel Air. In addition to traditional kitchens, Chef Sulatiki is also a partner in a Napa, California winery. He has also mentored both Canadian and American chef candidates in the renowned Bocuse d'Or competition. 
Please welcome Chef Robert Sulatiki. Hello, my fellow SAIC graduates. It's an honor to be with you today to, uh, to give you a little bit of encouragement as you graduate from SAIC. I graduated uh, from SAIC uh, in the professional cooking program in 1988, so a long time ago. What I thought was at the time, the end of my journey in school, so to speak, was really the beginning and uh, it was the beginning of uh, really finding who I was as an individual and how I could impact people around me. I happened to do that through, through food. And I was very fortunate to have several of my instructors at SAIT when I was a student you know, they recognized maybe in me, I had some little bit of talent or spark, or they saw something, but maybe there was a little bit of natural ability to cook. I don't know, uh, but they took me under their wing and they guided me and encouraged me. And after I left SAIT, that had a deep impact on me. So over the course of the next 30 years as I, as I developed my skills, my technical skills that I, I, I learned the foundation at SAIT, I then started to develop my, my managerial skills, my interpersonal skills. And I was thrilled, I'm, I'm, I'm always thrilled to recognize really good, um, new or young culinary talent, as the instructors did many years ago with me. And I get my, my deep, deep satisfaction now is about how I can impact the people around me or people that come in contact with me, especially the cooks that I work with or that work for me or with me. How can I guide them? How can I mentor them so they can go achieve success beyond what they ever dreamt they could achieve? And when I see that happen, and it happens, I'll have cooks that worked with me a decade ago will call me and say, I want to thank you. I now own five restaurants or I've won or I've been awarded, you know, a Michelin star or three Michelin stars. That means I had an impact on another human's life. And that's much bigger than food. And to me, that's at the core of, of, of who I am. And so I encourage all of you on this wonderful day of your graduation Again, not to look at, at it as uh, it's the end of school. It's really the beginning. And, you know, how can you take your education now and empower not only yourself, but the people around you? How can you make a difference in another human's life? Again, for me, when I leave this planet, that's what I want to know, that I had a positive impact on other people. I just happened to do that through food. And SAIT gave me those skills. They gave me the foundation. Those instructors decades ago that, again, took me under their wing, they taught me something that, that resonated with me and still resonates. I look for that, that talent. I look for that excitement in a young cook. Again, whatever discipline you're graduating from, you know, that's a technical skill. It's awesome. You can go make a living and a career out of it. But I encourage you to go beyond that, to take a step further. How can you impact humanity with this newfound skill and talent? Um, again, I congratulate you. I'm very excited for the journey ahead that you will all face. 
Uh, I'm proud of each and every one of you, and uh, I wish you all a successful future. Thank you, Chef Robert, for your inspiring remarks. The final speaker of the ceremony is your class valedictorian, Charlson Reyes. Charlson is graduating from the Bachelor of Business Administration with a major in accounting. Over his four years at SAIT, he became passionate about helping other students and making a difference in their lives. Charlson became a peer mentor, a director for SAIT's board of directors, and the Enacta SAIT president. Since finishing his program, he secured a position as a program manager with Enactus Canada. Please welcome Charleston Reyes. First and foremost, I'd like to thank SAIT and SAIT's executives for giving me this opportunity to represent SAIT Fall 21 graduates as your valedictorian. My name is Charleston Reyes, and I'm a graduate of Bachelor of Business Mission Program with a major in accounting. Years ago, I would have never imagined I have the honor to speak on behalf of all of you on one of the greatest days of our lives. You may be thinking, this guy's about to talk about all of his accomplishments, but instead, I'll be talking about all the failures I've had so far in my life and how that shaped me to become the person I am today. Business was not my first rodeo. As most of you can relate, I didn't know exactly what to do with my life back when I finished high school in 2013. I went into a patrolman engineering technology program, but I realized in my last semester, it wasn't a program for me. A year later, I put myself in a completely different field by enrolling in the emergency medical responder program. There, I learned a lot like how I can assist a baby's delivery, if I ever get a chance. But halfway through, it dawned on me that someone else's life is going to be in my hands, and that really scared me. Fast forward a year later, I landed in the business program. Heading into it, I knew I had to change my mindset and finally make this work. As an accounting student, most of us strive to get a job either in the industry or in a public firm. For me, I wanted to get an internship at one of the big four. To do this, I knew I had to get over my shyness. So I joined extracurricular activities. The one that impacted me the most is Enacta State. There, I was challenged to be uncomfortable. In my first few months there, I not only was the co-project manager, but I also presented in regionals and nationals in front of hundreds of people. I became hungry for more of these uncomfortable situations. This momentum continued till my final year where I became president of Enacta State. Through this club, I gained some of my best friends to this day. Together we grew and the experience taught me to lead, inspire, and motivate people at State. When I got the job offer from a big four during my second year, I was over the moon. Thinking I had my life all figured out, finishing my internship, obtaining a full-time job, and then getting my CPA. But as I started my internship exactly one year ago today, it wasn't what I expected it to be. And I realized my heart was in the nonprofit sector and making businesses better. And that's why I'm so glad to be working to help guide students across Canada towards their goals. I'll leave you all with this quote. Change can be scary. But it can also be beautiful. Without taking risk or being uncomfortable, there's no growth. And don't think of it as a failure. Instead, see it as a redirecting you to the right path. Because the reality is, without the failures I've experienced in my past, I would not be where I am today. I'm proud to say that I'm presenting you this speech in Toronto with Enactus Canada as their program manager. Now, I'm leading inspiring and motivating people across Canada. Congratulations to the class of 2021, and I can't wait to see what everyone achieves. It is now time to confer our graduates into their appropriate credential. Today's graduates are pioneers of technology, and to that end have received their digital credential using blockchain, along with their traditional paper parchment. Blockchain technology allows students free and secure access to their credential and SAIT was the first post-secondary institution in Canada to offer this innovation to its graduates. Graduates, as you may have read online, Mountain West Studio, SAIT's official photographer, is offering professional and COVID-safe photo sittings to all our graduates. You can find details at SAIT.ca. As SAIT's newest alumni, you are joining a legacy of more than 250,000 alumni and a network that is across the globe. You will receive the institution's alumni pin and our award-winning alumni magazine link, courtesy of SAIT's Alumni and Development Department.
congratulations, and welcome to the SAID alumni family. Conferring of the graduates. If you'd like to stand, please do so. On the authority of the Board of Governors and in conformity with the statutes of the province of Alberta, I admit each graduate to the appropriate credential. Congratulations, graduates, well earned and well deserved. You can move your tassel from the right side of your cap to the left. Congratulations. Graduates, take a moment to acknowledge how far you've come. You woke up state students. Now, you are alumni. You worked hard, built incredible resilience. You learned and earned the skills needed for a strong start to your career. Your time inside and out of the classroom, online or across the world, will continue to shape your career and your life. It takes diversity, connection, and pride to build a community. It takes thinkers, doers, innovators, and leaders it takes you to build a community. SAIT graduates make a difference. In our city, our country, and around the world, we're leading and creating what's to come. And now, you are connected to this community of alumni, of highly skilled professionals spread across Canada and the world. A quarter million graduates and counting. A quarter million lives changed by SAIT education. Designers, builders, innovators, mavericks and entrepreneurs, champions, and so much more. Let them inspire you. Like Victor Buffalo, who has served as the chief of the Samson Cree Nation five times and built a brighter future for his people. Or Deanna Burghardt, who launched Indigenous Engineering Incorporated which bridges the gaps between the energy industry, government, and indigenous communities. There's Rosalind Ediger, who has traveled the world as a successful chef and returns to SAIT to teach the next generation of culinary talent. And there's Clarence Hollingworth, who is SAIT's oldest known alumnus. He has taught at SAIT and in 2018 had the Clarence Hollingworth Scholarship created in his honor. These are just a few of the many alumni who have come before. Now, like them, you are equipped to make your mark anywhere in the world. All those who came before you and all those who will follow, we're here for inspiration, encouragement, support, and celebration. You are a part of a quarter million strong. So stay connected. Be proud to be a part of that quarter million. Your education is best in class. And this is just the beginning. Graduates, family members, friends, this now concludes our 2021 Fall Convocation Ceremony. Thank you to Laura Knope Wright and Alan Beasley for lending their voices to this ceremony both outstanding instructors in our radio, television, and broadcast news program. I would also like to thank Kelly Bolin, who is an ASL English interpreter with SAIT's Learner Success Services. You can connect with us after the ceremony on social media. Be sure to join at SAIT Alumni for all the news and updates as our newest members of the SAIT Alumni family. Well done, class of 2021. In a year unlike any other, you persevered and you did it. Have a wonderful day and congratulations, class of 2021. That concludes SAIT's 2021 Fall Convocation Ceremony.